We go where eagles dare. Welcome back to Good News Next Week, everybody. I'm James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com with some of the ways that we are winning and solutions-oriented stories for the week of December 12th, 2016. I know I haven't made a Good News Next Week episode in quite a few weeks, but I have kind of a good excuse. I was out making good news myself. I got married. Me and Cassie Cohn got married after 15 years of being together. Finally tied the knot. And I'm happy to share that with you. And a huge thanks and heartfelt love to all the people who already have shared their congratulations. And we appreciate that so much, as we are a pretty personal operation here at Media Monarchy. I've been online since 9-11-05 as independent, non-commercial alternative media, and we are brought to you by you. Looking at some of the ways that we are winning this week, Eagles destroy nine Western Australia mining drones and cost the country, cost the company rather, Freudian slip, more than $100,000. Now this story is actually a couple weeks old and I've gone back through the last couple of weeks. We made one right before Thanksgiving. And so we're going to include 20 headlines on this episode and we'll blast through them media monarchy style. Second story, we go from where eagles dare to a wing and a prayer, how faith in free-range organic turkeys saved a family-run farm. And of course, that means that once people realize they want not pesticides in their food, that those kind of farms are going to succeed. They have Go Paint Day in Dallas, providing an event for graffiti artists. And in Alaska, they're following the national trend of cutting the cord and dropping cable TV. Hopefully both of those trends nodding towards creativity and unplugging from the Matrix. At least to take a break every once in a while. And as long as we're staying up here in the Pacific Northwest region, Hanford whistleblowers score a $125 million legal victory for taxpayers for the spills and the health problems up in Washington State. And we've been talking about Hanford and Umatilla and the toxic armories recently on the Morning Monarchy episodes. We also mentioned recently one of the oldest cities in ancient Egypt has been unearthed recently. And good news... France's unpopular socialist president, Francois Hollande, says he will not seek re-election. That news broke the day after we had published an episode of New World Next Week talking about the shaky situation in the European Union. It was a one-two punch. Anonymous took down the website of a company that sells concussion grenades to Dakota Access Pipeline cops, and then, before we knew it, Army will not grant easement for Dakota Access Pipeline crossing, at least hopefully diffusing a spiraling out of control, not only in the situation itself, but in the way things get portrayed and spun all in the world of, of course, wild media. See, even Frankie in the background doesn't like that story. One of the biggest, best good news stories of the past couple of weeks in prison journalist and whistleblower Barrett Brown was finally released from prison. Ross Albrecht, however, still needs your help. An activist stayed behind in Syria to feed hundreds of abandoned cats. And two more cat stories for you. I bunched them all together. Okay, Frankie? Cat stuck in ice puddle rescued by Russian couple in a very heartbreaking photo, but at least a little bit of good news. And wildlife officials say video is showing a possible second jaguar in the U.S. Those are your three cat stories even though the background doesn't feature any actual cats on this Good News Next Week, episode 41, for the week of December 12th, 2016. Again, I'm James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com with some of the ways that we are winning. Although, I don't know if we'll be winning if they turn it into a real-life Jurassic World. Dinosaur feathers found in amber. Dinosaur with feathers. And they've made some kind of illustrations, and I'm sure... They're probably working on making a TV show out of it right now. They are also making Star in a Jar. Free energy, perhaps? Probably not yet, but at least breakthroughs made in that direction. New tests verify that Germany's Wendelstein 7X Fusion Energy device is on track to perhaps give free, clean energy. Again, we won't exactly hold our breaths for that one just yet, as a lot of these stories, as we sometimes note on New World Next Week, which is where this show is spun off from. Corbett and I sometimes joke that good, good news stories sometimes aren't always unmitigated good news. You know, the good news might have a dark lining. Sydney students replicate the $750 HIV drugs for just $20 in response to the much-hated pharma bro Martin Shkreli. 
Meanwhile, as long as we're talking drug war, U.S. dementia rates fall by 24%, and I'd like to probably incorrectly infer that that's because of all the weed that's been shown to, of course, fight lots of things, including dementia. The drug war has failed, and now even the Vermont governor has passed a law pardoning thousands of people convicted for pot. Meanwhile, in New York, they're going to allow medical marijuana wholesaling, and that means super wild west of cannabis and hemp is finally here. Toothpaste is out of the tube, and a 17-year-old made 12,000 pounds, that's, you know, fiat currency, posting videos about gardening on YouTube. And now, while I'm not monetizing these videos, as everything we've done for Media Monarchy has always been free, and no advertisements, because we are media brought to you by you. However, I like to highlight this kind of story because it shows that we have taken the power back, and the fake news fight that's been raging for the last couple of weeks gets more ridiculous by the day. And their numbers are plummeting, and our numbers are rising. And again, it's not about another whole us versus them thing, because our thing here is about voluntarism and disconnecting from a lot of that and building your own scenes and building your own farms and building your own communities and making your own art and creating your own world. And a huge thanks to all the people out there who share their ways that they're miles ahead of us. I sometimes still have to joke. It's like, yeah, I'm still some jerk in a city talking about the good news and the bad news. You're actually out there in a lot more ways on the ground growing farms in Iowa, making things happen over in Vermont. And we love to hear and share those stories right here on Good News Next Week. And we can continue to do that with your support at MediaMonarchy.com support. That's got our PayPal and our Bitcoin address and also our post office box where you can send us books and cookies and recipes and, of course, checks and money orders. As, you know, Baby Bush said, just send us your cash. <laughs> But we also like to point you over to patreon.com slash media monarchy as that is the best way to give us the monthly support. As little as a dollar a month will make you a media monarchy subscriber and we are working on a lot more behind the scenes where you will become so much more involved as I become so much more involved in all the ways that you and I and all of us are winning. This is episode 41 of Good News Next Week for the week of December 12th, 2016. Again, I'm James Evan Pilato for MediaMonarchy.com. Thanking you so much for watching and listening and reminding you, as always, don't hate the media, become the media. Take care.